All right, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and may peace and blessings be multiplied to the hopeful, faithful elect who's teaching this truth and um, wholesome doctrine and in all diligence, all right? Um, I want to name this sit-down lesson, Rebuking the Gentile State of Mind, you know, uh, subtitle, Can You Question the Most High? Because, you know, a lot of uh, two-third Israelites who are in the Gentile state of mind believe that they can question the Most High for their uh, their uh, failures, you know, or just their hardships within this world, within this life, right? But um, I want to start with verse. This is Isaiah chapter sixty-four, verse eight. It says, "But now, O Yahweh, thou art our Father." We are the clay, and thou our potter, and we all are the work of thy hand. So, I mean, you know, that scripture plain, that said, Yahweh is the father, he's the potter, we is the clay. So he, he forms us, you know, okay. to, do what he, to do what he will. And to back that up, we're going to go to Romans chapter 9, verse 20. It says, Nay, but, O man, who art thou that replies against the Most High? So who are you? Okay. Who are you? Uh, um, right. To question the most high. To question the most high. The creation. You the creation. Right? It says, Shall the thing formed say to him that formed it? Why hast thou made me thus? So if the Lord, if the Lord decided that he wanted you to be five foot six, alright, with a size five shoe, okay, how you gonna question how you gonna question that the Lord decided to make you the way he made you? You know, like, when you look at the movies, the Lord is the director, the producer, the playwright, screenwright, all that. You know, if he decided to, de to delete your character or to delete a whole scene, that's, that's, that's up to him if that's what he want to do. Verse uh, 21, it says, Have not the potter power over the clay? So if Yahweh by Shemiah says the potter, he got power over us. He's the potter, we's the clay, period. He says, um, of the same love to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor, right? So I'm going to go now. We're going to go to uh, the book of Ecclesiasticus in the Apocrypha, affectionately known as Sirach, not to be confused with Ecclesiastes. But this is the book of uh, Sirach, chapter 3, verse 24. It says, for many are deceived by their own vain opinion, and an evil suspicion hath overthrown their judgment. Yeah, that's your, that's your own vain opinion, thinking that you are um, on the level of the question of the most high. You know, that's, uh, that's, not, that's not according to the Bible. That's not according to uh, the Holy Scriptures. You know, because in all actuality, that wouldn't even make sense. How, if, 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 he's, if he's the almighty power, how can you how can you question any action that he take if he's the Almighty? You know that's why it says uh, an evil suspicion has overthrown their judgment. That's an evil suspicion. Yeah, first of all, you're supposed to you know you're supposed to fear the Most High, man. Calm. That's how you know you basically that's how you basically love him. You know by fearing him. You know and uh, and, and uh, following by his laws and statutes and commandments. You know he created you. Mm-hmm. And with that being said, that makes me want to go to this scripture real fast. Uh, this is Wisdom of Solomon. Shalakia, one second. This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 15. It says, but uh, this is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 15, verse 1. It says, but thou, O power, art gracious and true, long-suffering and in mercy ordering all things. For if we sin, we are thine, Knowing thy power. So, you know, that scripture, it says it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the Lord. Okay. You know, because when you sin, you know, uh, the wages of sin is death. But in mercy and long suffering, the Lord, the Lord chasteneth us. Right? So if we sin, we know that we are in the hands of the Lord. But uh, verse 2, it says, For if we sin, we are thine, knowing thy power. But we will not sin, knowing that we are counted thine. For to know thee... Is perfect righteousness, yeah, 
to know thy power is the root of immortality. So, you know what I'm saying? It's, it, the, the scriptures tell you to be uh, the beginning of wisdom is the fear of the Lord, you know? So fearing the Lord is, that word fear goes into reverence and respect. So it's basically saying, I'm going to do what he said do. You know what I'm saying? For me, because it's, it's, it's best that I do what he say do. For my overall wholesomeness, for my well-being. On one, on one side of the coin and on the other side of the coin, because he's he can be wrathful, you know. But um, let me let me get some. Go ahead, come. Uh, this is uh, Book of Psalms, chapter one, fifteen. I'm gonna start at verse nine. O Israel, trust thou in the Lord; He is their help and their shield. And I'm gonna jump. Pretty much, you know, the, the Lord, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Salaki, let me go back over there. Oh, Israel, trust thou in the Lord, you know. For the most part, that's, you know, that's what we're supposed to do, trust in the Most High, man, you know, because, you know, he, he he's pretty much is going to protect us. Mm, you know, he's our shield, you know. Can, you know, can no uh, weapon, you know, form, you know, form against us, man, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, how 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 are you able to uh, uh, go against that? You know, with a, a power so strong that's able to you know hold you down. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, let me. Uh, o O Israel, trust out in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. I'm a uh, I'm a uh, jump to verse eleven. Ye that fear the Lord, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. Mm -hmm. So you know when you you know by fearing the Lord you trust in the Lord, man. You know, you like I said that that's pretty much uh, 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 the love by fear. Mm -hmm. Because once you because once you fear the Most High, then you know not to cross Him. Come. Okay. Uh, go ahead. I, yeah, come. Uh, this is a uh, Second Ezra chapter four, verse nine. It says, uh, and when you read Second Ezra chapter four, uh, the angel Uriel is giving uh, Esdras similitudes, because Esdras basically questioned the Most High through Uriel, right? But starting at verse nine, this is uh, Uriel talking. It says, Nevertheless, now have I asked thee, but only of the fire and wind, and of the day wherethrough thou hast passed. And of things from which thou canst not be separated, and yet canst thou give me no answer of them? So, in questioning the most, in questioning the Lord through Uriel, Uriel questioned Ezra on things that was, you know, tangible to him, things that he could see, touch, and you know, like fire, wind, and and recalling yesterday, the day that is past, right? Uh, verse 10, he said, Moreover unto me, thine own things and such as are grown up with thee canst thou not know. Because Ezra can tell him the weight of fire, and Ezra can tell him the measure of a blast of wind, and he couldn't recall the day that passed. But, the, but like reading verse 10 again, he said, Moreover unto me, thine own things and such as are grown up with thee canst thou not know so things that you that you, that's grown up with you you know you can't even you don't even understand that verse 11 how should thy vessel then be able to comprehend the way of the highest and the world being now outwardly corrupted to understand the corruption that is evident in my sight you know so that was plain he said if you can't even understand the things that grew up with you, how can you even start to comprehend the understanding of the most high? You know, it's 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 it wouldn't be it wouldn't make sense. You know, you don't teach a a, a kid don't understand geometry. You know, when you learn the math, you don't understand ge geometry before you understand, you know what I'm saying, uh addition, multiplication, subtraction and division, you know. So basically he was telling them you can't even add, subtract, multiply and divide let alone you want to go to Pythagorean theorem, so to speak, right? 
Oh, uh, you got something, brother? Um. See, uh. I'm gonna go to, uh. That song, you can get that song. Come on, that's why. This is Book of Psalms, chapter one, <clears throat> Psalms chapter one, thirteen, verse uh, five. Mm -hmm. Who was like unto the Lord our power, who dwelleth on high? Okay. You know, who 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 can do who can do uh, the things that he does, man? You know, the earth is his footstool. Mm -hmm. He he's the one who created all things. You. Mm -hmm. So how can uh, uh how are you able to um to question him? He is the uh Alpha and Omega man. Mm hmm Okay. And that scripture lines up perfectly with uh this scripture here. This is uh this is Isaiah chapter forty. I'm gonna read verse twenty five through twenty eight. It says, To whom then will you liken me? Or shall I be equal, saith the Holy One? So who's equal with the Lord, man? Not you, because to because to question the Lord that puts yourself to you know what I'm saying on a on a on the on the same playing playing field, you know what I'm saying? Because if you like you you go to court, you don't get to question in the judge, huh. you know. So and, and the Most High is the ultimate judge, man. Exactly. All right? It says, "To whom then will you liken me, or shall I be equal?" Said the Holy One. Lift up your eyes on high, and behold, who hath created these things, that bringeth out their hosts by number. He calleth them all by names by the greatness of his might, for that he is strong in power, not one failed. Why sayest thou, O Jacob, and speakest, O Israel, my way is hid from Yahweh, and my, and my judgment is passed over from my power? Hast thou not known, hast thou not heard that the everlasting power Yahweh, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. So that that abolishes that equality that, that you ignorantly feel that you you have with the Lord. Because to question him is to is to whether you not not knowing it, you you putting your you putting yourself as equal. You you don't you you don't even know that, but by questioning the Lord, you trying to say where well, you on his you on his on his level where you can you can discourse with him, with your opinion versus versus him, like like you as as like you are as righteous as the Lord. Right. It says I'm gonna read that over. Has thou not known? Has thou not heard that the everlasting power Yahweh, the Creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. And that's all I got to say. Well, that's all the, the scriptures got to say on that verse. You got anything else to add? Uh, the book of Revelations, chapter 22, verse 13. I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, you know, pretty much, man, he, he, he created he created all, man. Like I said, even you. Mm -hmm. So who so as a as a as a man, who are you to question the Lord, man? Someone who 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 can who can uh die mm -hmm. bring you alive mm -hmm. uh, and, and well yeah, die and bring you alive, you mm -hmm. know. Or vice versa, okay? Yeah. But uh, with that, you know. And you know, with that, we're going to say all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Um, hopefully, you know, this video was edifying to those who watch it. And may uh, may Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah bless his elect, man. Shalom. Shalom.